How many more times will I try? She asked. Seven times? Seventy times seven? How about until you succeed? But I don't want to fail again. Think about this. When a baby is learning to walk, how many times do they fall? And sometimes they may hurt and cry, but they get up and they try again and again and again and again and again and again until they succeed. The road to achieving goals can be hard and sometimes even seem impossible. Many people become disheartened and they think, well, it's for others, for special people, gifted people, blessed people. But what if there was a way that would guarantee not to fail? A way to change the mindset, to become focused on the outcomes and not the problems in the way of those outcomes. A way that if fully grasped would make it impossible to fail. Now, it starts with a mindset that says, I must succeed. Failure is not an option. A mindset that changes the limiting self-talk from, mm, perhaps I should, mm, maybe I could, one day I'll try. Changing that to, I must do this. I must do it so that I can really enjoy my life. So that I can have more fitness. So that I can do things with my loved ones, my family or kids. So that I can be healthy and live long. So that I can be there for them. And I want to feel good about myself. Now part of the new mindset is about being honest with oneself. By honestly answering questions like, am I overweight? Am I unhealthy? Have I let myself go? And then, armed with those truths, turning it around and adopting empowering thoughts like, I am strong, I have strength, I have willpower. Discipline is good. I am disciplined. Now, in order to give this the best chance to work, we're not going to go full on boot camp where, where people bust themselves so hard at exercise or restrict their diet to such an extent it becomes unsustainable for the long term. No, we're talking about a lifestyle change, not just for one or two weeks or even one or two months, but a new way of living, a healthy way of living a way to improve all the above mentioned areas, weight, fitness and health, and still be enjoying life. In fact, enjoying life so much more because of the better feelings of being physically and mentally and emotionally empowered. Now, the way to make this easy as possible is by starting off steady as she goes. Because look, the easier it is, the more likely that people will stay with it, right? Make sense? Now, as time goes by and we start seeing results, people get encouraged and they will want to take it up a step. But just at the start, let's just take it easy. Now, part of the strategy of making it sustainable and easy is have meals that are tasty, right? I mean, you want to still enjoy your new lifestyle. So the meals have to be tasty, but not just tasty, nutritious, healthy meals, and easy to prepare. The easier it is, the less resistance there is to change. So by putting all these things together, we're setting up a good foundation for a new lifestyle. For the new you. So now I'd like to show you this 21 day plan that's low cost, very easy to follow, and is going to get you kick started off with a new foundation. And once you get through the 21 days, you're going to be well on the way to starting new habits. But remember, it's going to be easy, it's not going to be hard to stick to. You will enjoy it just the same way as thousands of others already have. And after the 21 days, you can simply choose to repeat the cycle 
or go on to something else. But it's going to kick start to get into a new rhythm. Now, if it interests you and you want to take part in this challenge where you will not fail, become empowered. Click the button or the link below for more details. All right, this is Kevin McGoldrick. Thanks for watching. And I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you.